Oh-ness. That's bad, family. Uh. Dive into this the right way with the resonance. Vibe out. As we move forward through the space. Mm-hmm. I'm your brother, Curtis Aru, the reflection of you. And I'm honored to come in this space today. And we got some quick announcements going on on the blockchain. I got some amazing synchronicities coming through that I trust that you will profit from in the long run as we dive into this uh, navigation of the crypto verse. Give thanks, family. Holding some balanced vibrations, family. I trust you well. Vibing a resonance at top speeds. I'm your brother, Curtis Haru. The reflection view. And today, we get to dive into more understanding of the cryptoverse, tying some of this metaphysical knowledge, knowledge and things that you've already seen, even numbers that you've seen. Synchronicities 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 5, 5, all of that. You know, you take all of this into perspective when you're making your decisions because these things just don't happen by chance. Everything happens for a beautiful reason. And it's your job to take these synchronicities, align them, align the stars and seeing you know, where is true north, you know, where is the proper way for me to flow optimally for the best solutions. And today, it's a full moon. Mm. What else is going on in society? Because we know I gave you all the heads up uh, a couple weeks ago with um, with the dip in the market. Uh, I got again. I got some. Got to say love to my brother BK, one of my mentors in the crypto verse, and how this bounce back. And many people thought that hey, it's about to run. It's let's get it. Let's let's jump in. And you see it struggling. And just at that box there, it really hadn't gone out of that circle. The little ellipse I just I put there. And it's going to. Why? Because of the information that we went over there. And just to quickly go over it again, uh, there's a number of resistance after this uh, 48% drop in, in 12 days that Bitcoin hit. That's like it's a little less than that because it hit it right there. So eight days good goddamn <laughs> eight days it was just you no know, sinking and it was taking the rest of the market with it man that was an ugly ride but if you had the boss method you already knew that hey once this thing go under the blue you know what to do you get out and you save face and you buy back on the low and when you buy back on the low of course yeah this is a 45 40 eight percent discount to buy right here but when it drops like like that you want to be able to identify where is the floor where is that coming in at what's some resonance that's coming around when it has it last seen this price action and we see it has seen this price action back in february where again back in january the beginning of the um beginning of the year that's where it first crossed this path and actually where is that currently right now and it's holding right there and but will it continue to hold it doesn't look like it because there's so much downward pressure from this moving average which is uh the 231 these are all specs on the boss method uh the seven which is right there and the 77 and these are all mm, on the downward trend and I post the video um, highlighting uh, it was uh, Grey's Anatomy Sloan character, a doctor who you know was critically ill, you know, and he came back, and everybody thought it was you know everything was good, everything all posy, but the elder came through and like, nah, I think that's a surge. That's a, so this is a surge uh, where it it comes up, but it's not really like the, it was supported by the community. You know, came in and bought it up. Oh yeah, it's a great time to buy. It's a it's a psychological point within the chart that allows. Uh, it's been seen many times 
with buyers and sellers so it became comfortable that's what these candles and uh, charts tell us the, the psychology of the people the buyers and the sellers and we have here bam they agreed upon the price somewhat here it actually went through that checked it one time checked it two times three times four times five times and it was off to the races now back down it checked it again only check it to come to go back down basement because you see this thing is 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 not looking that healthy right now but what i was bringing it to coming to tell you was have you ever heard of hermes hermes who is hermes i'm sure many of you have seen hermes heard of hermes and the greek tales of it and hermes is also known as Quicksilver, also known as uh, connected to Thoth uh, in the Kematic stories and Atlantean stories. But this Hermes is connected to Mercury. Because Hermes, as you can see in his stories, Hermes is about that money, commerce. Uh, Hermes is is uh he moves quickly and freely between realms with the mortals and the divine small wings little sandals um but i'll connect you to this because right now we are in a we're going into very soon because it let me actually show you the chart first that i did the chart first and then i came back to it so this chart uh the and I'm not gonna go every, every line or in this thing that I've drawn out but I will tell you the ones I'm talking about right now this the golden line is called a Fibonacci um, cyclic line I believe Fibonacci Fibonacci time zone and I, I drew this uh, just try to figure out you know, where with the where the resonance with the drops are coming from because I called the first one that happened back here and I let the people know a day before like hey yo this it's looking like one is coming. So give thanks for all those who tuned in and, and, and use that, that wisdom. And make sure you can still see this chart. Bam, okay, you can. Um, and I drew the lines. When it went through these you nodes, know, these are central nodes and of resonance and harmonics within this particular chart. And we'll say after this, let's say near, near bullseye here, it was going down, bam. Bam, again, bam, down at the intersection point, which is in nothing happens by chance. Uh, keep going. So typically, I'm like, yeah, okay, this because this was resonant, the last one was resonant, and the one before that was resonant in the well at the intersection and a strong point in the chart. There's nothing but harmonics. So there is something definitely coming on what day? This is the 20, uh, 28th or 29th because it could be off by a few hours. So I said the 29th, 28th, and talking to my partner today, and this is the full moon, give thanks, and she mentioned some things around the full moon and some other planetary activity that is going on, and she mentioned retrograde. It's like, yeah, there's a couple planets going in retrograde, and what we know about retrograde when we talk about planets, it basically our planets moving forward because planets don't necessarily do the moonwalk and take it on backwards. Uh, so they, it actually appears within this rotation that it is moving backwards though. And we know as above, so below, this energy is felt everywhere in resonance. So in order to, and, and if you never heard of the, the connection between the astral planes or different dimensions and the physical plane, please be aware that yes, this is the real thing. Um, uh, you, can, you can see within the, the sun that comes out and influences life to grow here. The moon, water movements, and emotional uh, things. Uh, every planet has its own reflection on the psychologically uh, psychological influence of humanity and other beings that it you know, shines on. And when I went to go check and see what planets 
we're in retrograde, meaning that it's moving forward, but it's appearing to be going backwards. And what do I find here? Mercury. Retrograde. Ooh, and those who know about Mercury retrograde is, um, you know, that technology typically goes on the fritz sometimes, cars be agging up, um, uh, a number of things. I'll let you do that, that, that research, so check it out, the Mercury retrograde and some things that to be expected. I'm not going to go too deep into it. I'm just going to kick it around the surface and well, we, well, we get deep in it, but we ain't going to have a long or you know, drawn out presentation today. Um, right here from may 29th through june 22nd hmm where did we just see may 29th align with on the chart right here we already on a downward trend we already have a number of things working against us and now we got the planets going in retrograde good god damn Okay, so Kurt, what I mean, family, take a little break. I would suggest, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just saying, hey, you want to set some mindful stop losses if you're in the market, and if you, if you can see the resonance, feel the resonance, you might want to park it in some stable coins, um, die coin, USDT, USDC. Um, there are a few of them out there that you can park your assets in and let this storm blow over for a couple of days, m weeks, until the market shows that, hey, we're going to be back in an upward trend. And Bitcoin, there are other coins that look decent. I can't even lie. I've been tempted to jump in some, but I did not. I resisted the urge. And actually, that's been uh, yielding good fruit. And take some of this off here so you that's not frustrating <laughs> this uh the way this thing is looking right now and actually this is the previous chart i did a minute ago and it's the same that same date lining up it's crazy i mean well, it's beautiful synchronicity and for from going into june it may be a little ugly family um if you're in the market it might it's already been uh <laughs> really bloody as i say in, in the shadows of Hermes uh, because we um, we go into this so the planet Mercury this deals with commerce 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 and Mercury goes together because also it's deity that is connected to it is connected as well so when you go into Hermes story we can go into let's see what the, what um, Wikipedia say so Wikipedia drops in. Let's see. You're gonna do a quick read with the for the quick read here. Travelers, protectors. Um, I know it's a be protector. There you go. Uh, Hermes is considered the god. Uh, he's also considered the protector of human heralds, travelers, thieves, merchants, and orators. Because you gotta have a quick tongue to uh, be connected to Hermes. And you can see those born on a five day. That's the fifth. The, that's the people, people that are born on five days. Let's say um, that's the fifth, the fourteenth, the twenty-third. Um, if I'm missing anyone, just add up the the numbers there. And whatever, if it comes to a single digit of a five, it's connected to Saturn. And Saturn has that quick energy because just again, Saturn has one of the quickest rotations. Um, of the planets uh, orbit all this connects family um, and if you haven't figured out I'm also a metaphysicist <laughs> and this is one of the things that you you kind of pick up on this journey following these different synchronicities rabbit holes if you want to call them um, and connected to supreme uh, tribe which we find each other here let me keep forward so uh, its orbit is 80 seven days is one of the quickest um, planets in rotation and orbit uh, in our solar system and close to the sun so it's hot it's fiery so again when you look at Hermes it's quick it's good so we, those who born on those days are quick with it they quick had quick with the tongue quick response um, 
and they typically can do pretty well financially because they know how to you know be great orators you know you can you can speak that thing and uh, you kind of magnetically bring it to you so not saying this is a good or bad deity because we we should be far from that type of um, polar polarities and um, so what I said here per merchants uh, what else what else what else what else, what else, what else? Uh, he's a trickster and in order to get what he wants and the story goes um, the reason he has even the staff that you may see it with or uh, him shim the, the gender kind of kind of blurs line sometimes too um, but typically is depicted as a, as, as a male but the staff that he is known to have with the two serpents the Kundalini was actually stolen from his we call it his half brother, and his half brother was uh, Apollo, and Apollo is also known for its his um, love for music, uh, archery, and he played a trick on his Hermes played a trick on his older brother brother to get what he wanted from his older brother, and that was. Um, First it was cattle, <laughs> and then it was music, and then he went to a couple of other guys and stole some stuff from them too. So he traded his staff, Apollo traded his staff uh, to Hermes for um, a trick that he was played on him. Because Hermes actually played, uh, the story goes, on his birthday. <laughs> I don't know, keep this short, on his birthday when he was born, that uh, when it on, on the on the day of birth, we'll say well, that whole born, born thing it can get a little misleading as well. Uh, where my face back on here, where he was coming out of the cave and he lured some of Apollo's cattle. A cattle can also be symbolized with money, commerce. You already get money. Uh, we know one of the oldest coins when you find in society was uh, had cow faces on it because cows were cattle is one of the first um, forms of money that's why we get the the uh our, our partners um the aurochs from this and partners with humanity and how it made work easier and to have you had one of these bovids or these uh cows or uh aurochs which is the ancestor of cows you had you were abundant you can get work done you can provide for your family you can aid to, to getting more harvest uh, done within the farming because no everybody would eat and uh, if you could provide more you're going to be you're going to be on the, the, on the on the other end to receive that so Hermes was trying to get some cattle <laughs> or it appeared that he was trying to get some cattle and he lured them in once he lured them in he hid them and from his brother and his brother came accusing him of uh, you no know, stealing and being a thief Immediately, nah, he denied it. Me? Of course not. I'm here playing an instrument. An instrument that he made using, um, because he knew who he's um, looking to do business with. Apollo loves music. So Hermes engineered an instrument using, the story goes, engineered an instrument using the uh, like guts of um, of sheep check the symbology the guts or the insides the inner desires of sheep who is sheep you can say the masses are sheep you know not really there as you no know, cognizant of what's going on hey yeah you, you call me yeah, yeah I should get this yes and we'll leave it at that the guts of sheep and me and, and found a tortoise it's not symbology tortoise that he met there as well gutted it used its shell used the guts for uh, str uh to string and make the string and if, and if it sounds outlandish i got a factual one to tell you um as and you as, as strings and he made one of the first liars liars <laughs> liars to uh, so harp he's playing it as he was talking you know when apollo came to accuse him he's playing this instrument nice music uh Mm, that, is, that sounds nice, Apollo thinking. Uh, and he's also um, a deity of truth. 
you know, one of the things is Apollo is is true. And he immediately said, hey, I, I want that instrument. May I have it? Now I'll trade you some cattle for that. So bam, we got the exchange plus his staff with the serpents on it. So the only two go up the ladder, up and down the ladder, up and down the spine, up and down the Kundalini. We have, he now has access with that staff of truth, the staff of balance. And I apologize, I thought I was, I thought I was on the screen <laughs> of balance. And then he takes that to other spaces. He begins to travel the realms, check, check out different gods. And um, within the, the Greek uh, stories, and take his show on the road. And he, I think he stole. Let me see if I can find that story. He stole like the belt from Aphro, Aphrodite, and a couple. Actually, I found one of the stories here, and I didn't finish look at it yet. But uh, if you go on to secretnews.com, I'll put the link down below. Uh, uh, bam, right. Uh, the shadows, the shadows of Hermes, is actually a, a deep story. It actually talks about commerce as well. Uh, the shadows of Hermes, and it talks about commerce. Hermes, a uh, story documentary of the shadow of Hermes by Jewelry Lina Lina, Lina. Uh, shows how Freemasons, international bankers, uh, communists. Join forces in an unholy alliance through the Bolshevik Revolution in the 1917 in November established in Russia and one of the most brutal and dehumanizing slave societies in the, wor the world has ever seen in, in this film here. And within the documentary we talk about those financial Masonic forces that could bloodily work behind the scenes through communism to profit from the suffering of others so Hermes done started to slaughter the sleep sheep then slaughtered the, the the tortoise and is now after the gods so it's it's, it's cold cold-blooded and a quick with it don't think much of it bam get it done and what I did when I was in Kenya, I went to school in, in, in East Africa, and um, I put this here. I played an instrument called the Bokana. The Bokana <laughs> actually was a, a kissy instrument, and this instrument goes back is one of the largest lyres in 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 Africa. Um, yeah, in Africa, definitely East Africa. Where it had uh, this particular one had one eight eight to nine strings. Uh, they had they are bigger. Uh, my teacher actually his family was one, his instrument or actually getting this instrument out there and and really sent it. So in or if you ask somebody who plays this instrument, you know who's your teacher, you will find somebody within the same family. And uh, it's more like a bass type instrument when you play it. But the origins of the instrument. Uh, as you can see under it, uh, not very close, um, it has made with, made with beeswax, um, uh, reeves and their strings, banana leaves, um, a couple of branches from some trees, cowhide, and these strings used to be made with cow guts, intestines. Uh, and this was the story that was given to me by my instructor. And when I heard this story within the text of Hermes, I'm like, wow, okay, yeah. It just brings it back to the way clearer that, yeah, this is definitely a thing. And if you're looking for how to, you know, you're looking for some of the old stories, you go to some of the old places, you check out the continent. And that's where I got the story from. And this was five years or more plus actually longer eight nine going on nine yeah about ten years ago that no I think about eight eight and a half years that um I was aware of the story before I heard it back with with, with Hermes connection now and put that back there where you go sir 
bam. And I'll continue. And I take my mug off here. So from there, the Avocado. Yes, it's it's a, it's a tank. And it's instruments who definitely been was used with those same parts. So back to the charts. This day, Mercury retrograde. It's some trickery going on. You know, we see a lot of wild things going on in the market. Like this dip came from where? I don't know. We don't create the wave. We just ride the wave. And the synchronicities that are aligning. And this is something, uh, the patterns, because these are all patterns. And once you find the patterns, you know, you, you get to go. And this pattern, I started back in January. And where do we see that, that price action was happening again? Right around here, family. Before it actually broke that and bounced right there. Look at the synchronicities, fam. All right, it bounced right there. I can't make this stuff up. So, bam. When it, when it first bounced out and hit that price is agreed upon right now, started that cycle from bam to bam aligned it and it kept synchronistically lining with uh, harmonic points you find within this chart and why would it stop now fam so as we see here counting down to the 28th or the 29th right around right around this time where there is a mercury retrograde coming through uh, 2021 what, 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 let me see. and again it's the fifth month of the year so this is all five 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 and mercury is connected to the numerologic number five if we check out our ideology um, on secretenergy.com these are all just symbols vibrations that communicate to us you know the resonance of the day the moments that we we share together five wednesday is today wednesday today is wednesday and i'm bringing this message to you give thanks family the synchronicities are and it's the analysts the hit five the analysts the colors green uh crystals mercury is the actual metal that is in resonance with this day <laughs> Uh, here are the herbs and here's the planet holding this family all right so if you're looking where to park or mindfully invest outside of the crypto market where we uh, are in between um, profitable ratios check out the hydrolux hydrolux is one of my favorite products to date because i love water and it infuses the water with hydrogen Hydrogen, the number one element on the periodic table, the granddaddy, the teacher, the grandmother of the other elements where two thirds of all the other elements have hydrogen components. And it's kind of like the blockchain family. Uh, every block after the Genesis block has some of the original OG block. So most of the other elements that are in your body doing amazing, Maybe not so amazing, you know. Some maybe need some replenishments, so they just need some replenishments, replenishments of some of the OG hydrogen that's been lacking that we really don't get in our normal diet. So, cop your Hydrolux with the link down below, or go down to OneTribe.io, stroll down to the page, click the link, and you will receive your hydrolux whenever you make that purchase we do take crypto as well so hey send it from there to the shopping cart and hey we'll be on the same vibes because you got hydrogen in you and i do too so give thanks high five and you know the five is in the resonance let's dive back into the build on this areas uh, frequencies, everything can be found right here, family. Uh, just seeing what's connected. Uh, Gemini, uh, anatomy, poise, numerology, anything else here. Lucky, knowledgeable. And today, it's some knowledge that's coming through for him. Slams, I trust that you pull you know, something through. If it resonates, hey, rock with it. If it works for you, 
uh, give thanks you know subscribe to my channel i am um the crypto griot telling stories as it's in resonance and you can find me at one tribe.io as i am bringing forth for you for the family this is best practice where you can find get one-on-one -on -one sessions with me onboarding one to two hours uh, also wellness mentorship i'm also a soul coach on secretenergy.com if you sign up for the pro session we can have sessions monthly um, and there'll be a number of resources that be available to you and we can discuss anything under the sun and beyond because we can go there so i put my mug back on here even though i know it's late i had to get the message out I had to share and if there's not let me know if you got any questions drop it in the bio uh, again we connected to we can today we connected mercury hermes five uh the, the plot the connection with uh, with commerce with the charts with synchronicities going on right now in the moment and i trust that you keep vibing a resonance at top speeds i'm your brothers curtis Haru. <laughs> yo family let's keep vibing a resonance at top speeds i'll see you in the next one like subscribe share the video hope to see you in a one-on-one -on -one session or in the soul coaching session where we got everything you need to send into the next space and why the market is going sideways you know we can be building in the best way and when it starts to pick up you know your brother will come through and let you know what it what it is when it is check out awesome individuals who are bringing the knowledge like my brother Savan Bomar my brother Brandon BK the boss of crypto and others who are there and resonate with you until next time I hope it's